What's up guys, it's time for another predictions video. I'm a day late with this one because I usually like to put the videos out about a, at least a week before the actual event, so I apologize for that. But I'll make it up to you guys by getting all of these predictions correct, so stick with me and I'll help you out. We've got ourselves a pretty solid card here. I'm really excited for the co-main event because I want to see if Colby Covington can actually prove himself. This is the first card in a while, or at least the first main event that's had six fights on it, so I hope none get cancelled because I'm, I'm honestly pretty interested by all these. So without further ado, let's get into these predictions. For the first fight on the main card, we have John Hands of Stone Lineker versus Marlon Vera. John Lineker is the favorite, which he should be. I don't really think there's that much to analyze in this fight. Uh, John Lineker, his whole gimmick is that he has hands of stone, he has knockout power, but I don't think he's going to knock out Marlon Vera. He, Marlon Vera's never been knocked out, he's young, he's only lost by decision, and I think he's going to lose by decision in this fight. John Lineker, he's looked good recently, except for his last fight against TJ Dillashaw, he got absolutely destroyed. But for this fight, I'm just going to say that John Lineker grinds out a decision against Marlon Vera. For the next fight, we have Tiago Santos versus Jack Hermanson. These fighters are pretty similar. They have pretty similar styles. They both seem to be more striking, knockout oriented. Jack Hermanson's probably just on the brink of being ranked and Tiago's number 15. So these guys probably aren't too far apart in the rankings. Both of these guys are on two fight winning streaks. Both wins for each fighter came by knockout. The, the last loss for each fighter came by choke. These guys don't really seem to be too versed in their ground game. As you can see, their submission percentages are pretty low, so I'm expecting this fight to stay on the feet. However, I think that Jack Hermanson's last two knockout wins were slightly more impressive. He looked pretty sharp in his last two fights, so I'm expecting Jack Hermanson to actually get the knockout win. So I'm definitely saying Jack Hermanson by knockout. His last two knockout wins were in the first round, so it could happen in the first round, but I'm gonna go with my gut here, and I'm just gonna say Jack Hermanson wins by KO or TKO in the second round. For the next fight, we have Francisco Trinaldo versus Jim Miller. Both of these guys are pretty well-rounded, except Jim Miller's been on a little bit of a skid lately. He's on a two-fight losing streak. He lost both by decision. I don't really see him getting back into the win column anytime soon. Unfortunately, I think Francisco is a little better in about every position. Maybe not ground game, but Jim is a little bit rusty there too. I just see this fight going to decision and I see Francisco winning that decision. I just think Jim is a little bit out of his prime. Francisco's last loss was a submission loss to Kevin Lee, so that's not really anything to feel bad about. I just see this fight going to a decision. It might be a close decision, but I still see it being a decision victory for Francisco Trinaldo. Next up, we have Pedro Munoz versus Rob Font. These guys are pretty close in the rankings. For some reason, Rob Font seems to be the heavy favorite. Rob Font is the knockout artist, but both of these guys have knockout power. Both of these guys also have submission wins, but Pedro Munoz obviously has the much higher submission percentage. Personally, I see this fight being a scrap on the feet pretty back and forth, but I think if Pedro takes it to the ground, he's going to win by submission. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I don't really think Rob is going to be able to knock Pedro out. I just think this fight is going to go to the ground, and the more experienced grappler is going to come out with a submission, which in this case is Pedro Munoz. I don't think there's going to be an upset defeat, so I'm predicting Pedro Munoz by second round submission. Okay, next up we have a fight that I'm really excited to see how it plays out. We have Damian Maya, who just challenged Tyron Woodley for the title and failed miserably versus Colby Covington who is a young hungry guy who really wants to get a title shot. If you're going to bet on this, if you're going to bet real cash on this, you might want to play it safe and not listen to what I'm going to say, but if you're betting cash and you want to make a huge profit, then you should listen to my prediction. Okay, so the most common prediction in the world, 
is Damian Maya by first round submission. I get it, that makes sense. Colby's a wrestler, so people are thinking he's gonna take Damian down, and then once it's on the ground, Damian's gonna turn into a backpack and probably rear neck and choke Colby easily. But in this case, I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt to the young and up and comer. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the possibility that Tyron Woodley softened up Damian Maya's chin along with the fact that Colby is saying that he's going to go in there and just murder Damian in the first or second round by a knockout, which Colby doesn't really have that many knockouts on his record. But in this case, I think just the passion and his, his desire for a title shot is going to allow him to walk in the octagon and just starch Damian in the first or second round. So my bold prediction which again is probably not that safe to bet real money on unless you have money to blow and you want to make a profit my prediction is colby covington by first round knockout that's pretty bold but hey that's what i'm going with i'm giving this kid the benefit of the doubt here Finally, for the main event of the evening, we have Derek Brunson versus a guy that should have stayed retired. Well, I guess he wasn't really retired. He just had a substance ban, but still, he should have never came back. Leota Machida is another one of those guys that can't accept the fact that he's not in his prime anymore. And I get that he wants to come back. But fighting Derek Brunson is probably the worst matchup for some old guy that wants to come back into the sport. I mean, Derek Brunson has like eight first round knockout finishes in his past like 10 fights or something crazy like that, or past 10 wins. Leoto's gonna come back in, he's gonna be covered in ring rust. He's, oh God, I don't even wanna watch this fight. I think it's gonna be a first or second round knockout for Derek Brunson, no doubt. I can safely say that. Machida just hasn't won since 2014. He's been out for two years. He just really should have stayed retired. So my prediction is Derek Brunson by second round knockout. And yes, I said second round because honestly, if Leoto lasts the first round, that'll be like a moral victory for him. So I'm gonna give him that chance. I'm gonna give him the chance to last the first round, but then he's gonna come in there in the second round and get knocked out. But honestly, you guys can pick first or second round. It's whatever It's whatever you feel like, because it's, it's gonna be either one.